China is the undisputed leader in energy production, which covers almost everything clean tech related, including solar panels, batteries, and electric vehicles. This has led to concerns about the U.S. falling behind in the global clean energy transition. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has highlighted China's aggressive actions as unfair competition, harmful to the global economy, American companies and workers, and a potential risk to China's future growth. Her warning comes amidst rising tensions between the world's number one and number two economies. China has filed a World Trade Organization complaint against the U.S. over EV subsidies. This subsidy comes in the form of the $7,500 and $4,000 EV tax credits for new and used electric vehicles. The credit notably is limited to electric vehicles and components made in North America. We covered the US $7,500 federal tax rebate for EVs in a previous video. For more on that, click on the related video link. While the tax credit is made to promote American made EVs and support American companies and workers, the European Union is also concerned about China's dominance in the sector. The EU launched an investigation in October seeking to determine whether cheaper Chinese-made EVs benefit unfairly from Chinese state subsidies. China has labeled the move as protectionist and has escalated tensions between Beijing and the EU. Underscoring the competitive tension, the Biden administration has recently revised fuel economy standards in a way that benefits the big three Detroit automakers. This includes General Motors, Ford Motor Company, and Stellantis, which is the parent company of Dodge and Ram trucks. This move lessens the pressure on U.S. automakers to accelerate EV production, marking a retreat from the Biden administration's previous aggressive EV targets. The revised rules mean that car companies can continue to prioritize gas power vehicles with less urgency on electric vehicle production. This shift in policy by the Biden administration could leave the U.S. in a very unique and challenging position as it relates to decarbonization and the shift toward more sustainable forms of transportation. Large vehicles inside the U.S. are quite popular, and many of these vehicles are quite heavy and do not get good fuel economy. So this shift by the Biden administration could effectively make it even more difficult for the U.S. to make a transition to cleaner forms of transportation, improvements in air quality, and more broadly, perhaps leave the U.S. without a way forward as it relates to achieving these goals. The original fuel economy standards were criticized by automakers and unions who claimed that they were too stringent and unrealistic. They also claimed that the standards would cost the U.S. jobs. The revision to the rules by the Biden administration appeared to be motivated by a need to avoid potential losses in the battleground state of Michigan as the Biden administration prepares for its 2024 re-election bid. Is this a sign of the U.S. giving up in the clean energy transition race to China, or is the country simply taking a breather? Where exactly does the U.S. stand on the clean energy transition? Environmentalists are divided on the policy change. Some criticize it for delaying the clean energy transition, arguing that the U.S. is losing precious ground against climate change and that the U.S. needs to be bolder. Others, however, welcome a more realistic approach, arguing the unrealistic high fuel economy standards for internal combustion engine vehicles and the rapid push toward electrification with electric vehicles. They argue that electric vehicles will succeed when the technology and the market 
are ready, not through unrealistic regulations. China's clean energy dominance presents a complex challenge for the U.S. Can the country rise to the challenge and counter China's dominance? Can it compete without sacrificing jobs in key industries? Is there a path to collaboration with China for a faster global energy transition? These are critical questions with far-reaching implications. The answer lies in strong leadership, a full commitment to the energy transition, bold policy transitions that will support it, and a renewed push for innovation. The clock, however, is ticking on the U.S. to make and lead the way toward the clean energy transition. As always, thanks for watching. For more from the definitive source for clean tech, sustainability, and e-mobility, make sure that you like and that you're subscribed to cleanearth.io.